So let me see. The coup. The insurgents took control of strategic points on the main island of Mahi, where the capital, Victoria, is located. The central police station was seized virtually without a shot being fired. In contrast, there was an exchange of fire at the Mont Fleury police station, where the arsenal was being kept with all the big weapons. A policeman and one of the insurgents were killed in the fighting, sadly. The plotters arrested six British Armed Forces officers who had been advising the Seychelles Police Force since 1976, when Seychelles gained independence from the United Kingdom. I always thought they were a French colony, but we have to read the history. The officers and their families, as well as the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, Aidan O'Brien Quinn, a judge from Ireland, similarly on loan by his government, were flown to Europe, or back to Europe, depends. The aftermath. The leader of the SPUP, or the Seychelles People United Party, and Prime Minister France Albert René, who denied knowing of the plan, was then sworn in as president and formed the new government. When approached by the insurgents, René was said to have accepted the presidency on three conditions. That the safety of the political individuals be granted, that international agreements remain in force, including one allowing the United States to maintain an AFSCF suite. Air Force Satellite Control Facility Space Tracking Station in Mahi and that elections were to be planned in 1978. They were eventually held in 1979. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And somehow that was actually quicker despite me saying every word word for word slower. So it really does matter that you don't actually um, go faster because the faster you go, the more likely you are to fumble a word and then have to do a whole sentence again, I guess. So. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something, and until next time, yeah, the the other one was a bit shoddy, so I, I redid it, so with that being said, I hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and um, yeah, pretty interesting, um, like I said in the last video, we're going to do some communist states, especially for Africa that are not well known, probably even for Asia as well, or like very closely Soviet aligned to the point of almost satellite -ish state, but not like a Nasser's Egypt or something that just got weapons and called it a day, right? actually like really invested in that marxist leninism kind of ideology and we're gonna see how they play into the geopolitics of the region as well um we might do the bigger well-known ones well at least to people who study this kind of stuff but yeah africa was like a hotbed for communist states or at least like communist aligned states much of the third world was but the second world was like mostly asia and the eurasian russia eastern bloc so there was not a lot of revolutionary fervor up in there because everything was pretty good. Africa was probably like the most exploited continent in terms of per capita, but still a pretty interesting thing to see Asian communist movements and how Maoism uh, influenced that part of the globe as well. So uh, with that being said, yeah, we're going to try Africa and then we're trying to do some Asia a bit. Even go to Latin America and see what's up in there. America's backyard. But with that being said, Video has gone on long enough for two minutes, and I'll see you next time. Man flu will not keep me down from doing these pretty subpar videos, I swear. Sanitize, learn something, and don't catch the man flu or the other virus that's going around that. Meh, it's pretty bad, but not as bad as man flu. Alright, I'm just kidding. Anyway, seriously, enjoy yourself, learn something, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.